everybody, Brooke Dalton here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am currently drenched in sweat because I just got done running six miles with my tiny Pomeranians and I have yet to cool down. But I wanted to hop on here today and um, talk about something. Tomorrow, Preston is gonna be 11 months old. For some of you guys, that might have seemed like it flew right by. It feels like just yesterday I got Preston and he's already getting so oh, Jesus Christ Preston do not do that you could have got severely injured oh gosh it is so hard raising these guys you might be a little bit shocked by today's video so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it I know that on this channel I have been talking about Africa for a really long time and I know that a lot of people will never understand what it is that made me fall in love with Africa I was 18 years old I spent some time in South Africa and I had such a good time if you go back on my my channel and you see those videos I made a lot of videos about my robbery and about the apartheid and I noticed that I kind of left a, a bitter taste on my YouTube channel in regards to South Africa those of you that have been watching my videos know that I am truly obsessed with Africa let's get to the point I am moving to East Africa this is going to be a really big life-changing, you know, growing opportunity for me. Let's not forget that only 1% of East Africa is European. So it's going to be really, you know, life-changing to be the 1% of white people in a 99% black part of the world. And I'm nervous, I'm excited, I have butterflies, but most of all, I'm looking forward to this opportunity and, you know, how my life is going to change by taking such a crazy leap of faith. Yes, I'm moving to East Africa, and will I be coming back to America? The answer is short and sweet, no, I will not be coming back to America. I'll be living in East Africa for pretty much the remainder of my life. I might be heading, well, not I might, I will be heading over to Asia to go to Dubai and uh, Bali. And I am going to be visiting places all over. And hell, I might even come back to America uh, for a vacation. East Africa is going to be where I'm living for the rest of my life. And I'm so excited to, you know, bite this bullet and just start this new adventure. I know that there's going to be so many questions. So I'm going to go ahead and answer things that I, I know are on people's minds. What am I going to be doing with my tiny home? Most likely it will be for available to rent on Airbnb. I am obsessed with Airbnb. I've been using it since I was a young man. Not like I'm an old man, but ever since I was a really, really young man, I have been traveling the world using Airbnb. I am obsessed with their platform. It has completely changed my life. So my tiny home will be available to rent on Airbnb while I am in East Africa. The link to the Airbnb will be down in the description right as it becomes available. So it might not be there at the moment, but in the future, if you're watching this, the link might be down below to rent my tiny home on Airbnb. It is truly beautiful, sleeps eight people. I'm just obsessed with it. Another question that I have been getting, will I be taking my Pomeranians? Yes. I will be taking my Pomeranians to East Africa. This is not going to be easy as I have to get them a passport. There's so much mumbo jumbo and hoops to jump through when you are flying um, dogs in particular into East Africa. But I'm going to do what I need to do because I could never live without them. Um, I know that I keep saying East Africa rather than a specific country. So let's go ahead and talk about that. I will be moving to Tanzania. 
Tanzania is the most eastern country on the continent of Africa. But in particular, I will be moving to Zanzibar. Zanzibar is an island right off the coast of Tanzania. I will be there for a large chunk of time working on some business projects. So pretty much the main reason I'm moving to East Africa is for business opportunities. I'm really excited to do some work there, open up nonprofit organizations, and just do my part at changing the world one country at a time. You know, my ambitions and my dreams are super astronomical, and I'm not going to settle for less if I don't have to. So I'm going to, you know, do what I have to do to make those come true. And a huge part of that is moving to East Africa. So other than Tanzania, I will be spending a lot of time in Rwanda. A lot of people know Rwanda by the movie Hotel Rwanda and the genocide that happened, uh, like, what was it, 19 years ago? Something like that. I forgot how many years ago it's been. Oh, I think exactly 21 years ago. But um, a lot of people know Rwanda as the place where there was a genocide that killed a million people. And believe me, I don't blame you. That is very historical. It is absolutely crazy. But Rwandans do not like to be remembered for that. And it's actually a really sensitive subject, as you can imagine. So I will be spending some time in Rwanda. I am so excited for that. I'll also be spending time in Ethiopia. So Ethiopia is one of the poorest countries in Africa. And um, I'm going to have a lot of fun working with some charities and just doing my part and giving back. Um, I'm really excited to spend some time in Ethiopia. I'll be in the city center of Addis Ababa. And um, I think that it's going to be extremely life changing. There is no Europeaners that live in Ethiopia. So it's going to be really, you know, culture shocking and eye opening to, you know, be sitting in a coffee shop and just kind of being that oddball out. Um, my most favorite part about all of this is the content that I will be posting. I mean, imagine my daily videos that are taking place in Africa, being the only white person. And it's going to be, you know, really, really crazy. Um, I'm really excited to see, you know, how this goes, where it takes me. Um, but let's go back after Ethiopia. I'm going to be heading just slightly north to Egypt. And um, I'm going to be so excited to visit Egypt, the pyramids. I'll be there for a while. Uh, super excited for that. There are so many amazing things like the Nile River, the, the world's longest river. And um, it goes through North Africa all the way to South Africa. And I am so excited to go jump in there and just splash myself with the holiness that is that water from the creek. And... Um, yeah, guys, I am so excited. So I am moving to East Africa. I wanted to finally spill the tea about that. Um, my online clothing store will still be functioning and uh, sending out t-shirts and sweaters and shorts and sweatpants. So don't forget to check that out, brookedalton.com. I have been having so much fun working on that. I can't even begin to explain. Like the moment I open my eyes, it's all I think about because fashion is so cool. It makes a statement and there is no limits as to what you can create. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. Um, as of right now, I have no intentions on moving to America afterwards. So everything is up in the air. I wanted to just come on here and share this information with you guys. Um, I'm going to kind of freshen up, make some dinner, relax, and check up on some emails. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I recommend you do because I post daily videos here on this channel and I think they're pretty entertaining. I checked and 85% of my viewers are not subscribed, which means you are probably not not subscribe to my channel and that's kind of messed up so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to press the like button and i will see you tomorrow bye